Well, Susan, are you going to have a, an opening uh, anytime soon? <laughs> Honey, uh, let me have my uh, spokesperson. Oh, you 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 have now. <laughs> Susie has an official spokesperson. You're the official spokesperson, is that right? Once. So I'll ask you and he'll... How do I do this now? He's the owner of the business. Okay. So I um, understand that you're going to have an opening here? Yes. Oh, great. And uh, what, what are you going to feature on your, on your opening? This art. And who, who is the artist? Sue Bally Malou. Uh, could you say that name a little slower? Sue Bally Malou. Sue Bally Maloof. And um, could we go over there? Could I get a couple shots of you showing off her, uh, her stuff? So here is the work of uh, Sue, like the Indian tribe, uh, Bally Maloof. And um, so I was wondering, and so what, what is your name? Juan Thorpe. Juan, Juan what? Thorpe. Juan Thorpe. Like the, the great... Uh, Jim Thorpe. Jim Thorpe, the, the, uh, the Indian uh, football player. All-American. All I think uh, Burt Lancaster played in the movie. And so uh, could you tell me some of the things uh, that makes uh, Sue uh, so interesting? How would you describe her work? Well, these particular pieces we're looking at here, these are monoprints. Mo what is a monoprint? A monoprint is a print, but you only do one. Oh, you mean is the is the print, and, and then they destroy the. Right. How do the, they make the, the print? Plate, the plate is usually a piece of glass or uh -huh. plexiglass, uh -huh. and you put paint on it and ink and various other things, and then then you go ahead and you make the print. And then that's and then it. That's it, because all the ink comes off the plate, and then. So, what is the practicality of doing that and not just painting something directly on the? Material. Well, you get the print quality, the, the result of it being flat on paper, and you get, it's a little faster. Usually you tend to do a print in, in one session, usually less than an hour. Uh-huh. And very, it's almost like a watercolor. I see. In a sense. Well, so I would assume that would be a very expensive process, making a print where you only make the one. So, uh, for instance, could you tell me some of the prices of some of these? Uh, let me get the list. Okay. I don't know my art. These particular... This that you're looking at here is an actual oil pastel original. Uh-huh. So that is a drawing. And what is that this? Is so this is not a monoprint. No. This is just a conventional drawing. drawing, yes. I see. That would be $1,200. $1,200? Mm. Compared to some of the monoprints uh -huh. are in the range of about $500. Well, that seems pretty reasonable. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's great. Okay. Well, I will now get some actual photographs of these. So what, what's the name of your gallery? Bunny Gunner. Bunny Gunner. Yeah. Now, how did you come up with a name like Bunny Gunner? It's a long story. Well, give me the, <laughs> give me the, uh, the Cliff Notes uh, version of it. Let me show you the logo. Okay. There's the, there's the logo. And so uh, it appears uh, to be a bunny with a, uh, with a gatling gun or something like that. And well, it, uh, so it, how did you come up with such a, a... Most bunnies don't have, uh, most of, uh, don't, don't have assault weapons or that kind of thing, but yours does. Yes. So how did you come up with the image of a bunny with an assault weapon? Basically, we like bunnies and we like guns. Uh-huh. We created him as a, as a character. Uh huh. Started off with T-shirts and paintings and artwork and different kinds of things like that, and it became such a hit that we decided to name the gallery after it. Okay, well that's fantastic.